Blighty Boxing with Frank Warren in Queensbury, joined by Chris Bork. How are you, Chris? Long time no see. Yeah, good. Cheers, mate. Getting back in the gym now and trying to get myself fight and fit. A bit hard at the moment, though, isn't it? Yeah, it is. You know, obviously got an injury in my last fight. Um, still can't punch with any force at the moment. So it's just trying to get myself fit. And then when I can punch, I'm ready to go, really. So you got a dodgy nose and a dodgy hand in the same fight, was it? Yeah, well, I broke my nose. Uh, and then I broke my, I damaged my hand in the third round of the fight. And obviously it's a 12 round fight. So yeah, it was just, every time I was touching, even just touching with it, I was getting this electric shot just shoot up my arm. And obviously we're talking about the British title fight with Mark Leach a little while ago. Um, that's a hell of a handicap to have from such an, I know you're not going to want to make excuses. No, yeah, blah, 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 but facts is facts. Um, how can you, I mean, I know a lot of boxers do it, but I don't know how you guys fight with broken hands. It's, all... it's frustrating, you know, and the majority of people don't even realise you're fighting with a broken hand. It's, it's tough, but, you know, you have that mindset, you get, you're going in there to win. I still believed I could have caught him with a shot that would got him out, even though the hand was hurting. Um, but, you know, watching it back and that, I think I was maybe too aggressive. I maybe should have just boxed on the back foot a bit when my hand was hurting. Yeah. Um, so the fact that you were just constantly walking him down. Yeah which obviously he seems to like, mm. was purely because you were just trying to find that bingo shot yeah. because of the situation you yeah, were you in. Yeah, you know, the nose, was, the nose was hurting, my hand was killing me. Um, it was a fight, <laughs> I wanted to get it done inside the distance, really. Yeah, I mean, I've often thought with those hand things, but if when you come to taking that glove off, must be an awful thing, isn't yeah. it? I mean, partly it's a relief because you want it off, but you must wonder what you're going to see when you take it off. Don't yeah, you? well, I, when I took it off, it sort of ballooned straight away. And then I couldn't move my fingers for about a week um, just because of the swelling and the bruising. But yeah, you get that relief and then you look at it and you're like, bloody hell, what have I done here? Like, mm. Did you go to the hospital? Yeah, I went to A&E straight after it, got scat. But it was too swollen for them to really even tell me what was wrong. They do the nose as well? Yeah, same thing. They're like, there's not much we can really do with it. Mm. Why is a broken nose? You just got to sort of let it heal or to yeah. do anything? Or yeah, I mean, they, just they make could... Just sure you keep it straight or... Yeah, they said like they could set it in place, but it's, it's pointless when you're a boxer really, isn't it? So I think as long as it's set okay, they just leave it. Mm, you're veering slightly off to the right, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, but so. I, was doing, I was like that before the fight, so <laughs> sweet. How long did it take you afterwards to sort of reconcile everything that happened that night? I mean, obviously, fortune was not on your side. Yeah. In no way, shape or form, but... It was your big British, big British title fight. It was your unbeaten record, and we were yeah. going about them. Um, how long were you an unhappy camper for? Quite a while, man. Um, like you said, you know, it's all them things. Main event, my big, my big break fight, really. Um, it was a big break fight. Yeah, it was. And then those. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, I don't know. It's hard to say how long, but it was a long time. Um, you know, still frustrated by it and mm. especially I think it's more frustrating because I'm injured so I can't get straight can't back out I'm sort of sitting on you that fight work, so do you know what I mean apart from your accountancy yeah <laughs> yeah you can't work you can't train so I suppose you're sort of getting some bad yeah. habits you sort of don't it's know where you can be bothered getting out of bed in the morning well that's it you know and you're in the gym and you can't spar or anything like that and it's it's hard getting motivated but you know I'm doing a lot of physio and stuff and it's slowly getting better the fact is though Chris I mean Nothing's really changed. It's all still there for you. Yeah. You know, there's great fights to be had. There's titles to be won. Um, you know, when you've had your next fight, you won't even think about the one on the end of your record. Yeah, I'm asking, that, that's the thing. I just want to get out as soon as possible because like, I'm injured. It's, yeah. I'm just sitting on this fight. I often say, though, when you get to, say, 21 fights and you've got one that fella that's 21 and one fella's 20 and 1, do you really differentiate between the pair of them? Yeah, no, nah, yeah. It really doesn't matter, does yeah. it? So. And you know, I've been in title fights since my seventh or eighth fight, so you know, I've had proper fights, really. Mm. That's it, I mean, obviously, the other thing you would say is if you go in a 50-50 fights, you can lose. Mm. You know, like yeah. I say, things went against you on the night, didn't they? So, obviously, yeah. uh, mitigating factors. Yeah, you know, it's out of my control, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? I've done everything I could on the night but uh, yeah so how far off are we now in terms of you know your hand feeling like you can put it's case you're putting some trust in it I suppose yeah you? and to be honest I, I, it's hard to say really it's it's getting better but at the same 
I think it's still a little while off, really. Um, I'm hoping to be out sort of October time. Yeah. That, that's the plan for me, really. Well, that's not too far away. No. You just get the summer out and done, and then there's not a lot of boxing anyway. That's in the it. Summer, I mean, as it? long as I keep myself fit and st keep my head in the gym and I'm fit. You don't, you don't look in bad condition. No, no. Do you know what I mean? It's, um, it's just about being ready for it, really. Do you know what I mean? And just fingers crossed my hand yeah. is. You look at the scene, I mean, like I keep mentioning about all these fights, and they're even in this country, and most of them within Queensbury. Mm. You know, and you look, Brad Foster and Yonat Baluta had a fight the other week. That's a good fight for you. Yeah. You know, there's, there's others, isn't there, as well? So, I keep saying, it's Super Bannums in Britain is just, it's a red-hot yeah. division at the moment. Um, Liam Davis, British title. I mean, you probably watched that with a bit of particular interest, given it was the fellow you fought. Mm. And his title reign was ended after one one win. Did that take you by surprise at all? I suppose not really. I could... He's a, he's a good he's a very good fighter, but he is beatable. Do you know what I mean? And um, I think Liam Davis is quite tall, and he's he's boxed. He used his advantage. Exactly, as well, he's he? kind of all wrong for Leach, really. Um, so no, I wasn't surprised by it really. Then of course you got the European champion uh, Jason Cunningham fighting the great Zelani Tete this yeah. weekend. I mean that's a, I mean, as Frank said, he can bring Tete into the mix now as well. Yeah, Davis. do you know what I mean that? I'd happily fight Tete or Cunningham. Say so whatever he's got, if he's got something left, he's in the mix with everyone yeah, else. Yeah, yeah. And I saw um interview with Tete this week where he's basically saying he loves the fact that there's all these young guys in at Super Bantamweight at Queensbury and he said if he gets a world title, he said each and every one of them will be given an opportunity. I'll hold him to it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. No, but it's just a, such a thriving thing, isn't it? No, it is, yeah. Taking a loss. If you all fight each other, you ain't all gonna come no one's going to come out of it unbeaten. No, no. Like you said, everyone's a good fighter in this division um, at the moment. So yeah, it's just it's just frustrating. I just want to get back out there and get another win. Do you know what I mean? That's understandable, and uh, your time will come. Just don't get down about it. Yeah. But in the meantime, of course, you've been uh, doing a little bit of modelling. I wouldn't go that far. For new Millwall's new kit. Yeah. I mean, tell us a little bit about it. How did it come about? Um, someone from Millwall reached out to me. Um, because, you know, Millwall were doing a lot of... Well, they were sort of reposting my stuff on Twitter and stuff before the British title yeah. fight. So, um, and then after the fight, someone reached out to me because they had their new kit launch mm. and asked if I wanted to model some of the stuff for it. So, obviously, I was like, yeah. I've seen the video. I mean, what was that? A day's work, was it? Or? Yeah, yeah. It was a good laugh, you know, good people. So, who was the fellow next to you? Um, he actually works at Millwall and the, the girl is a Millwall football player. Oh, OK. Yeah, right. yeah. So you were like the celeb of the three? I wouldn't go that far, no. <laughs> a bit different though, isn't it? Do you have any like, you know, because you're quite a reserved sort of guy. Yeah. To sort of stand in front of a camera going, ah, yeah, yeah. It's not really you. No, it's it? not, do you know what I mean? But at the same time, I think boxing is quite, because obviously you used to being in front of a camera with boxing, you're always mm. doing video shoots or interviews or, so it wasn't actually that uncomfortable. It was more uncomfortable for the other kid, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Signing some players, Mill, were not they? Yeah, yeah. I think they might have a bit of a big season. Yeah, definitely. I think I think it's going to be a big season for me. Anyway, in, in honour of you launching a new kit, I've devised this special Millwall quiz for you <laughs> to answer. So, no, I haven't. Don't worry. <laughs> it would have been funny, though. We're just going to stitch me up there. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, mate. Look forward to seeing you back soon. Cheers, mate. Good to see you smiling. Yeah. Back in the gym. It won't be long now. No, that's it, you know. I'll keep healing up the hand and fingers crossed I'll be out in no time. Good man.